Hi, this is Carolyn Wainscott with our friends here at faithcraft.com and today we're going to be working on my self-sculpture nativity kit that's available at uh, quiltingcarolyn.etsy.com and it's a set that the kids can help you tell stories with. They can be used as puppets. Um, the kids can handle them. You don't have to worry about them breaking them and not only that, the kids can help you put them together. They really enjoy um, helping to paint and color and trim these out. You can uh, make them as fancy as, or as plain as you want. And uh, you can see by the camel, he's got his fringe and his beadwork. And the kings are pretty fancied up. You can add beadwork to them. You can fix them any way you want to. It's up to you how you want to dress them up or dress them down. So I've been working testing out paints and dyes on the fabric and this is the set I took over to the nursing home that day and I was really pleased with the way the things came out. Um, I took along these the sets of fantastic uh, coloring tools that you use with dyes and um, gave a really nice effect. It's economical. I'm going to be testing these dyes out further before um, I do much else with them to make sure that they're nice and color fast before I start putting them on some of my quilts. I had already tried some red dye and wasn't too satisfied with that when it came to the painting. They just don't give the vibrant colors I'm looking for. This you'll see painting the little donkey. Uh, that's, a, that's a brown tea dye and it worked fine. That's a sponge and that'd be really great for large areas. So now let's go over to Lebanon Country Manor and see the folks over there and the help that they gave us. <laughs> We're working on the um, nativity scene here in our dementia Alzheimer's unit Maybe. today and our residents are enjoying this and just absolutely having a real good time and doing a fantastic job. A beautiful rose color. Would this do? Okay. That is an awful little color. Huh? Awful little color. That's what we can. Oh, they're that like crayons, aren't they? They're like crayons, but they will get on your fingers. This is not. So you just... This is yours, you create eight. Okay. Let's Sarah, you're doing mighty beautiful work there, maybe. So, is your work done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ethel? My goodness, that is a fun thing. Yeah, and do it again. Yeah. Try it one more time. The third one? Uh huh. How you doing, Sarah? Oh, my. Beautiful. Going to be our nativity set this year. Boy, you did good. Huh? Wow. I'm telling you. Very good. We're getting our the, the treasure chest. We're getting it painted all gold here. Yeah. Yeah. And then what color are you going to put down here? This hill? Yeah. Red. You're going to put red in there. Good job. Yeah. There's probably enough in there to start. Okay. Would you like the turquoise? Got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but, but we travel along, singing a song side by side. <laughs> Are you one of the you ones did good. Name of people? Okay. Sure did. And this is okay. You take hold of that. Stuff. This is Ray's masterpiece, okay. and he take put pattern and everything into Mary. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, that's what there you mean. go. Painting the baby's blanket blue. Good job. Good job. That's pretty, Sarah. You did good. When you're done with the car, bring it to me. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to hold the, the shepherd up? 
Didn't you just no, no, right, right now. <laughs> Look at the camera. Yeah. Look over here, Orville. Oh, yeah, I've got to step on one then. Okay. Well, I've got Good job. <laughs> you get that down from your face. Over there, so she's your whiskers and everything. And not your tonsils, your whiskers. Oh, yeah. what do you all right, that's thank worth you. The price of yeah, it is. The race says that's worth the price of admission. <laughs> okay. Hello. You painted all that picture by yourself except for one little bit. You did good. That's beautiful. Thank you. I like this one. It's beautiful. After you finish painting the kit, it's time to sew them together. So all you have to do is follow the seam lines and you can see that it's very simple shape and they're easy to turn but sew around the seam line. The original instructions that are printed on the kit tell you then to leave a um, an opening in the bottom but I have found it's easier to stuff it if you leave a side opening completely sew the bottom on and then put the uh, those plastic stuffing beads um, in the bottom. I suggest using those so that if you're going to be storing them over the winter then maybe the little gremlins won't get into and chew into your uh, to your kit. And after you get the, the beads in there then stuff it tightly with um, polyester fill or cotton batting whatever you have nylon hose are good and sew up your seam and it's ready so you can see that how easy this set is to uh, put together I'm more than pleased with the way things turned out um, all Orville and Gary and Ray and Sarah and Mary needed was a word of encouragement and they did a marvelous job and they're creating their own nativity kit for a uh, set for this winter and uh, that'll be something they can be proud of because they did it all themselves and I'll try to do a follow-up when they get it done to um, show you how they did.